Guys, welcome to the channel. I've got a really cool watch, a new addition to my collection. This is the Breitling Aerospace uh, reference number E79362. This is a really cool super quartz movement in titanium from Breitling. This is an older generation, so they made these from 2007 to 2013. Uh, they retailed for about $4,000 and today can be had uh, you know, anywhere from the high 1000s to the low 2000s, depending on which color version that you get. Now, I traded uh, with one of my good watch buddies, Josh, uh, who really wanted one of my watches, the Tudor Two-Tone. And so I, uh, I did trade that one for this one. And I think we both got some pretty cool watches out of the deal. So this is not my first Breitling. I am a huge fan, generally, of, of Breitling watches. This is my third one. And it's got all the things that I love about Breitling, but with some differences. So uh, the first thing, I love the wrist presence. I love, uh, you know, just the uniqueness. I love the bold applied markers, the 12, 3, 6, and 9. Uh, you know, Breitling is kind of an in-your-face brand, and I really like that. I love the professional two bracelet that it's on with those small diagonally cut links uh, and all of those are machined out of titanium. So this has a good kind of deeper tone to it, a little bit different from stainless steel. And of course, the light weight is very evident when you have it in hand. I also like the diver uh, bezel with the rider tabs at the different 12, 3, 6, and 9. And notice how each one has a little bit of a portion that, gets, that goes over the, uh, the, the polished section of the bezel so you can see as I rotate this around it's kind of riding over top of that of that section and it's just kind of a fun detail the the bezel action is very easy to to operate it's easy to grip and you know it's pretty standard from Breitling one thing to note that's kind of cool if you look over at the top of the bezel you can see a very very faint B machined in there the logo for Breitling I always think that's pretty cool to see. Now this watch, it has uh, what they call the Super Quartz Caliber 79, which is an ETA-based thermally compensated uh, quartz movement. It is chronometer certified. It does come with a, with a yellow paper detailing the certification, and it will be accurate to within 15 seconds per year. So it's a very nice uh, movement based off of the E, 20.341 movement from from ETA and you know what it's got quite a bit of features that you all access off of the one crown so uh, you can see right now I have it set for the day of the week and the date of the month and if I give a turn here on the uh, the crown we can see the back light up feature going on now if I twist it faster it switches to different uh, to different settings. So now we have running seconds and a date. If I twist it again, we've got the time. And then, oops. Then we've got an alarm, which I, I'm not utilizing, a chronograph, a second time zone, a timer, a lapse timer, and then we've got we've cycled all the way through so there are quite a bit of different features and I would say that if you're buying one you definitely need the manual because um, it's not intuitive to figure it out but once you figure it out it's pretty easy to operate all the different features and to switch back and forth uh, I, I'm actually pretty impressed with what you're able to do with this watch so another kind of cool thing to note about this movement is uh, if you look at the handset you'll notice that they are completely stationary and then every 30 seconds they jump to the correct uh, position on the dial. There you go. So actually it's pretty cool how they do that. And I also like the fact that the minute hand uh, doesn't have the hand stack tube running through uh, where it attaches and uh, you know it's just kind of a cool look I think enhances uh, just the overall feel of the aerospace model. I, you know it's just pretty interesting to see that. Now this does have 100 meters of water resistance, which is pretty cool considering you have a push-pull crown here and uh, you know all the different features that it has. Uh, I would absolutely use this in water. This is a sport watch. It's a tool watch. Um, it can take the abuse. It's got a uh, very nice case back here. You can see the 100 meter 
designation up there at the top. Overall, I, I just uh, I'm impressed with the watch. The C3 loom on the dial, even though it's almost a decade old, is still very potent, very bright, and nobody does a sapphire crystal like Breitling. Just check out that AR sheen uh, that happens at certain lights. Uh, one of the things I really like is how thin it is. You know, it is only 10 and a half millimeters overall in height, which which just lends that with the added lightweight just lends to be a very comfortable sport watch or casual watch. Very, very enjoyable to wear. I love this Breitling. Uh, will I keep it? I, you know, I, I cycle through a lot of watches, so I'm going to enjoy my time with it. And then I'll probably move on to feature other watches and hopefully more Breitling in the future. I, I really do enjoy this brand. So uh, big thanks to you guys for watching. Big thanks to Josh for the trade. Uh, this is a sweet watch. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.